So this is Kari Kari Beach, approximately three kilometers down the road from uh, James's place. This is our closest beach. Nice little wave there. Quite a famous beach actually. It was the set of uh, the movie The Piano. Also formed uh, the set for a few of the Crowded House music videos as well. Uh, Kari Kari is just <laughs> south of Piha Beach and Piha is quite famous worldwide for surfing as well. <laughs> What's this kilo? Look, look! <laughs> it looks like kiwi tumbleweed. <laughs> it's mad. Kilo's first somewhat pretty favorable attempt at herding sheep. This happened, I, th I think, more by by chance, but uh, she went off for a walk with uh, James. In fact, no, I said, James, take take Kilo with you. We were busy rounding the sheep up to uh, to get them in for the shearing. I just said to him, if you keep her sort of parallel to you, you know, she'll, she'll act as a an extra fence post, so to speak, and, uh, and this is what actually happened. There she goes, straight across the back of the line of the flock, and then even comes back up round the top of those who got away. So I don't think she did too badly, that was pretty cool. And that was the idea, to get them through that gate there, and into the adjo adjoining paddock. So, rounding the sheep up for Mr. Mobile, Mr. Clip. Had a mobile electric <laughs> sheep shearing kit. And this is him about to set up. Boy, could this guy talk. I mean, he out-talked Amy. I don't talk that much. <laughs> yeah, they get a bit short of shearers over in the UK at the busy time. They shear a hell of a lot of sheep in two months. Okay. Very, very short and fast season over here in the UK. Right. Well, to tell you the truth, I think the UK has really got the same amount of sheep as what we've got now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they haven't got their numbers. And um, the UK used to have when it was good 27 million. Yeah. We've got 23 million here at the moment. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh and so God. I actually think the UK will nearly be on a par with New Zealand at the moment. You go there quite often just to see. 22 years in a row. <laughs> I've, got, I've got my own client society I do every year. He had many interesting factoids to digress to us, including such things as his average being 432, 432 in a one-day period, and he did that solidly for 12 days. This is back over in the UK. He's a bit offish on, at times. He, he kind of told James off in somewhat of respect. Rude. Yeah. He was just plain rude. So I suppose the office is an understatement, yeah. <laughs> well, how long did you get him back in the yard? Mm. In here? Yeah. Oh, I got them just for free. Yeah, so they pulled themselves up again. I could have, um... Anyway, so I said, leave, 
Take me one bucket of water. Take me empty out. Huh? That's what I told you. Take me empty out. Those rams have been in here all the time, have they? Yep. So they're not got full stomachs. When they've got full stomachs, that's when they fight you. When you fill these back up again. The actual technical time on sheep being in the yard is um, four hours before you shear one. Hmm? No food or water. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what six they are. Yeah, I got eighty. I got eighty-seven for lambs like that the other day. You might be a bit far for someone to come and get them, you see. But they're making it that. If I had them at the sale yesterday, I would have got eighty-five for you can stuff at lambs. Last year I would have got twenty-five. Okay. Hey, so I've got together. I was going to put some in the freezer, but... Yeah, well, do you know where it's open to do that, or how's it been? Yeah, I go to, um, Sniper and Meat, both things. Yeah, have you taken to them? No, they he comes out right here and does it. Yeah. Um... Have you done cattle for you before, have you? No, he just came he over and... He won't want it to on him in the possum. Don't eat your marijuana the same. It's quite helpful. It's okay, about putting sheep back at the same time. Possums, you've got to taste for marijuana, have you? Yeah, I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, I want those possums getting drunk on the road because they get run over. So you put the wool around your, your, around the bottom of them, the old possums don't like the bloody smell on the wall. So, and they'll only have that great sound if you're nutritious for your car. Well, I mean, you'll be happy. You can get some out here somewhere. Off the beaten track, won't you? Was that possums or marijuana? Possums and marijuana. You've got them all out here, haven't you? Not sure. Haven't seen either since we got here. He's quite good. How do you normally um? How do you normally do the balls when you eat them? How do you normally cook them? I haven't had any uh, chopped up with balls yet. So oh, okay. Got any recommendations? Well, we've got ways of doing them. I mean, I don't know. We need to fill them with fried stuff. or um, pickled. Actually, pickled in the jar is quite good. You just have one or two when you want them. Oh, I wouldn't have tried one, just get more than one go, you just get a few. So just pickle them like this, like this. Yeah. And you can use lanolin because you don't have to kill a sheep for it. Yeah. But if you want to do, there's plenty of sheep, they can eat, they can eat sheep meat. It's safe. It's safe the whales. Like those whale killers, I wouldn't drive a whale killer's car. You each other, but then he smells. He smells different. Yeah. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the sexual desire <laughs> sign. The tapping of the front feet. Did I say that? Yeah. yeah. Did that do that? And then they're sort of talking, and they sort of recognise each other by sound. Uh, is that you? So this guy spent all of about an hour and a half, nearly an hour and three quarters, divulging all the intimate secrets of sheep keeping and how sheep are almost as intelligent, if not more.